Hello, I'm Bob Linnell. Uh, for those who don't know me, I was born September 6, 1939 in Greenwood, Mass. I moved to the Cape when I was six weeks old. So yes, I'm a Washashore. I have lived in Brewster most of my life. I have attended BBC my whole life and officially became a member 73 years ago after being baptized when I was 15 years old. I went to Brewster Elementary School, now the Brewster Town Hall, and then to Orleans High School, now the Norton Middle School. Then went into the Navy for four years. During this time, I was on the recovery ship that picked up the first astronaut, Alan Shepard, and was in the Cuban blockade. I met my wife, Dot, while in the service, and we were married August 19th. 1961, 63 years, and we're still together. We have four children, 10 grandchildren, four great-grandchildren, and I have worked in the building and trucking business uh, most of my life. So. Being in Sunday school and participating in the youth fellowship, we had a pastor, Reverend Bentley, who came from England. Our youth participated in activities with the Mashpee Baptist Church at the time, and Reverend Bentley would drive us there. We were always reminding them that he was driving on the wrong side of the road. My mother was a youth leader at that time. I remember that the high school, Sunday school classes were held in the kitchen of Alice Lund House, which is now the Candlebury Inn and Next door, Alice was the Sunday school superintendent at the time. The Lunds had a dairy farm, and the pastures were where the new sanctuary sits now. When they moved the farm to off Millstone Road, they sold the acreage to church for further expansion. First of all, same as Ben Gredson said a few weeks back, my mother. Mom was a devout Christian and was baptized by the Reverend Charles Griffin. Mom was very active in church and was involved in many ministries within the church, Sunday school, youth, ladies' aid, and church clerk, to name a few. Pastor Mary Shear, who I had the pleasure to work with as a deacon and on the caring ministry team for the entire time she was pastor here. And then there was Bill Carter, was another person that had an impact on me. Bill was a friend and served with me on the building committee for the latest building project, which includes the sanctuary that we sit in today. He was a Christian, and he always had advice for me, both in my faith and professionally. There are many things that I am proud of. I would have to say serving on the Board of Deacons for over 40 plus years is one I'll cherish the most. Next is serving on three building committees and as chairman. I had the privilege of serving with some very talented people who without them, we wouldn't have the facilities we have now. The first building project was a new fellowship hall, new community hall, now the community hall, new Sunday school spaces, new kitchen and offices. The second was an extension of the existing chapel and a second floor over the old fellowship hall. That plan never got off the ground for many reasons that I won't go into. The third project is the one most of you know about and that is the space we worship in today. Along with the new lobby, offices, fellowship hall and new restrooms. I have served on several different ministry teams over the years, including singing in the choir for 11 years. But these are the two areas I'm most proud of. I would like to see our church cater more to the youth and younger families, which I believe is the future of Bruce the Baptist. Develop more programs targeting these groups. I believe this can be accomplished by offering more outings, such as bowling, skating, movies, 
retreats and speakers that these group groups can relate to. We just have to work on coming up with new ideas for the future. Maybe a youth center that even the community youth can use. Bruce the Baptist stepped out in faith with two large building projects in the past. Maybe it's time we stepped out in faith again. Thank you.